Okay, here we go. All right, Sylvia and Danny. This mask was made and painted the same time yours was painted. So it's the same batch of paint and uh, it's just as old as yours are. So I'm actually rubbing on it here and it's taking quite a bit of rubbing to get that paint off. So it's, uh, it's an abusive thing. So you're going to want to be a little bit more careful with the, uh, the mask. It shouldn't be abused as much in order to, to, to cause the paint to rub off like that. So I'm actually going to strip some paint off based on what you've emailed me here to show you the uh, what it's going to take to, and even then, this takes some doing to remove it with with a solvent here. So um, I'm really scrubbing it to get this patch opened up here. Wipe that off. Okay. So now that might actually even be a good idea for you when you go to touch yours up is to maybe take some 99% alcohol and uh, strip it down to the rubber like I've done here. That way there's absolutely no oil or anything. I have no idea why yours flaked as bad as it did, especially in those areas. I'd expect it to rub off on the, on the high points, but it's not really where it rubbed off on yours. So in any case, I've stripped it down to the rubber. These are the same exact paints that I'm sending to you as touch-up paints here. And they're from the same exact batch that was originally used to um, uh, paint your masks the first time around. Uh, there's an adhesive mixed into, they're basic acrylic, artist acrylic paints, and there's an adhesive mixed into it to make it sticky so that it'll stick to the rubber. So I'm going to sit here and just stipple over with one of these textured sponges. I'm sending along some sponges for you to do the same thing. And I'm just going right over the area that was affected. And it's going to take a couple of passes because the rubber's dark and the paint's light. So I'm going to hit it with a hair dryer. And then we'll put some more paint on top of it. And I'm just kind of dispersing it too out and across. And you can thin this with water. You can thin these paints with water so that you can turn them into washes and it'll uh, disperse nicely out over the surface of the mask. And then dry them thoroughly. And then I use a little cosmetic powder just to take a little bit of the, the tack off of the glue. And then you can remove that powder with a little, uh, one of your sponges dampened with water. So it brings the color back up. But now the color has been set by the powder. And then you can take your, your contouring colors, the, the taupe and the uh, burnt sienna colors, and either airbrush them on to get the contours back, or you can, uh, shit, I thought I had an uh, artist brush handy. Or you can take an artist brush and, and just make a wash, either using the 50-50 denatured alcohol and uh, water mix. You can just kind of wash it into the details to get those contours back up and then use your one of your sponges to disperse that so you can kind of get that same uh, airbrushed look but you're faking it with sponges and a brush. So you can kind of see that you're replicating the contours that you would get with an airbrush. 
just by uh, diluting the concentrated pigment into a uh, into a wash. Move it around, and you're all set. That's really all there is to it.